All right, so I am gonna go ahead and get started even though there's no one on here. Hopefully um, some people will join a little bit later. Um, I am at the 405 Yoga Studio right now doing my work study. Um, for those who don't know, I am currently in a yoga teacher training program here. Um, we started in September and we will be finished in we will be finished this month. So we have this weekend and then next weekend of classes. Um, and then they're giving us one makeup class in January. So just in case if you missed something, like me, I missed a class the first weekend. Um, then you have an opportunity to make up that material. Um, so yoga teacher training is the program that is, it teaches you everything that's required for becoming a yoga teacher. Uh, whenever I was looking for a program, what I did, I went to the Yoga Alliance, which is the organization who um, certifies, I don't know if certify is the right word, but they are the organization who um, gives yoga teachers their credentials. So um, 405 Yoga was one of the top here in Oklahoma City whenever I went to the Yoga Alliance website. So that's why, um, and then I looked at their website and liked what I saw as far as their program. So I enrolled. Um, yoga teacher training is not, um, it is an investment. Um, what I like about 405 Yoga is that they do have the work study program so you can, you have the opportunity to work a couple of hours every week at the studio and get a percentage off of your tuition. I like that option because not only am I getting um, a break on my tuition, um, I'm also getting the knowledge and the training that I need for um, if I ever want to open up my own studio because I'm getting um, what I do for my work study I check students in um, through the account um, make sure that all of the cleaning and sanitizing is done in between classes because um, since it is COVID right you know a COVID time period right now um, we are required to clean and sanitize after every single class. So in the studio, we mop, we sweep after every class. So it's not like we wait until the end of the night, like we have to go in, we're wiping down doorknobs, like anything that people would touch, we are sanitizing in between each class. So if it's a 30 minute time period, we gotta get in there and mop, sweep and mop quickly. Um, as you can see, I'm folding towels. So we also do laundry in between every class, um, as well as cleaning the blocks that are used for class, and then also like the mats that we have that people are able to use for classes. We make sure that those are clean and sanitized also. Um, so a lot of people, you know, since I've been posting about yoga teacher training, a lot of people have been hitting me up and saying, oh, you teach yoga and I'm interested. And so that makes me really excited that people are interested in yoga um, and are wanting to start. Um, so I won't officially start teaching classes probably until January. Um, unfortunately, I did get sick during um, the training period, so I missed some classes. Um, we are required to take a minimum of 40 classes um, during the training period and so because I was sick I did get a little bit behind on some of my classes so I have some catching up to do um, you know before we graduate in two weeks so I won't officially start teaching until January um, thankfully I am like extremely blessed and have already had an offer um, my yoga teacher Gayla who teaches um, who owns I Need Your Body Studio in Dell City. She's already offered me um, the opportunity to come and teach at her studio. So that's probably where I will be teaching classes. Um, my plan right now, um, I am writing curriculum for a like yoga and meditation basics workshop. So that will be um, a multi-session workshop where you can 
you know, if you're new to yoga, you're new to meditation, then you can get that experience without feeling intimidated by being in the class with a bunch of people who are already flipping upside down and everything. Um, for me, yoga has been, um, I, yeah, there's a lot I could say about yoga. Um, this teach, like I started doing yoga probably around 2010. Um, I saw a Groupon for hot yoga at um, another studio. So I was like, this looks interesting. I'm going to try it out. So I tried it. I liked it. Um, you know, life gets busy. So I start, I stop, I start, I stop. Um, but I decided a few months ago that it was time to really get serious and really make some life changes because I know how beneficial yoga is physically. Um, and then I know how beneficial meditation is, you know, spiritually, mentally, all of that. So when I started yoga teacher training, I had no idea how impactful it was going to be for me as a whole. Like, not only am I getting a physical workout, but this really is truly a spiritual process. Um, okay, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm I'll be right back. I have a, a an email I have to send to my son. So, okay, sorry about that. Okay, so um, I didn't realize like how spiritual this process and this journey would be. Um, not only are we learning yoga poses in yoga teacher training, but we have um, books that we are studying. Um, we journal. We talk. So um, we we have formed like one little yoga family. There are. 15, 16 of us in class and so we've been together every weekend since September with the exception of like a couple of weekends that we've had off but when I say that it, it truly has been um, transformational spiritually physically um, my body has done things that have surprised me like I didn't even think was capable um, so I've improved a lot physically I've improved spiritually when you get on your yoga mat it is you and god and that yoga mat turns into a mirror so it truly is a reflection of how you live your life when i first started she said you know how you show up on the mat is how you show up in life and she said that because um when i when i started like i said i was um battling COVID and after I wasn't contagious anymore I was able to come back to classes and you know everybody could tell that I was still very fatigued um, but I was trying my best and so that's what she was saying she was just like I can tell that no matter what you show up and she said that that's um it says a lot because how you show up on your mat um, because I was fighting like I was fighting through the fatigue I was fighting through the aches and the pains and I was doing my best and she's right like w the way that you show up in life that's the way you show up in your mat um, I've realized some things about myself personally just by being on the mat um, there's been classes that I have cried through because I was grieving but I knew that I needed to get that out. So I came to the mat and I cried the entire class. There's been classes when I've been celebrating something. And so I'm happy, you know, during the entire class. But it truly is a spiritual experience to where you are getting in tune with your soul. Um, I don't know any other way to explain it except you just have to do it and i'm not saying everybody needs to go to yoga teacher training because you may not have that desire to teach um which i learned like when i started yoga teacher training i'm thinking you start teacher training because you want to teach well a lot of the people in my training class are not interested in teaching they just wanted to further their yoga practice and when i first started i was like why would you pay all this money and do this and you're not going to teach now i get it because this truly is a process that's life-changing if you surrender and you allow yourself to be led by spirit. Um, so it's something that I, um, it's a lifelong journey. I don't feel like I will ever be an expert because you can always learn. You're always learning from the universe. You're always learning from God. Um, 
it is it's a very rewarding process um i know like since we are in a pandemic right now um there have been a lot of companies who have popped up and they're offering yoga teacher training online um it is a cheaper option like i've seen somebody offering it for two hundred dollars well in my experience you get what you pay for because that's a fraction of any real in-person yoga teacher training course um, in person you're going to build those relationships you get that support from your classmates there is no way i could have made it through this process without the support of my classmates because like i said i was battling my health um, you know and i still am sometimes and so they encourage me they lift me up they support me and so i don't think you can have that same experience if you do it online and also online, you're not getting that hands-on experience. So if you are doing a pose incorrectly, you don't have somebody right there with you to physically correct you and to give you those assists that you need. So I don't recommend online training uh, for teacher purposes. Now, if you already have your certification as a yoga teacher, there are like some continuing education classes that you can take online. Fine, because you have the basis, you have that foundation. But I don't recommend somebody who is new to teaching to enroll in a yoga teacher training. Um, and the program that I am in, it is a 200 hour program. That's normally like what the basic programs are gonna be, 200 hours. Um, the, I, the studio that I am at is a power yoga studio. <clears throat> and what that is, it's a faster pace yoga. So it's one breath per movement. Um, we start out kind of slow and then we speed it up to inhale, exhale. A big part of yoga is um, mastering your breath and getting in tune with your breath. Once you master that, then you can master your poses because it's all about getting your body, your mind, and your spirit in alignment. And so that's what I love about it. Um, like I said, I do plan to start offering classes in January. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm nervous. I'm excited. Um, all of that. But I feel like this is what I am being called to do right now. And so I'm ready to take the challenge. Um, so if you follow my page, Speak Life Holistic Wellness on Facebook, Instagram, and then I also have a YouTube channel, um, I will be posting this video to my channel um, as soon as it's done. But if you follow me, you can stay up to date with everything that I'm doing. Um, you can encourage me, you can support me. Um, I also, I authored a self-care journal in March. So that is available on Amazon as well as um, locally here in Oklahoma City at Bell Books Boutique and more. And then also at the Back to My Roots Marketplace. So let me get the address of those places. So well, this is one of the books that we have to use for yoga teacher training. But here's my journal. It's called Journey to Peace, 31 Days to Loving You. Um, and in the journal, like you can set an intention for your day, affirmations. And it's just all about like figuring out who you are and where your journey is taking you. So like I said, that is available on Amazon or you can go to my website, which is speaklifeok.org um, to purchase the journal and then any other items. I have some aromatherapy candles. Um, I have some body oils and hair oils and things like that that are made with all natural essential oils. So um, that is available for you. So like I said, I'm here at 405 Yoga right now. Um, this, it's a very clean studio, clean atmosphere. They're taking all of the precautions necessary um, in the times of COVID. Class sizes are limited um, to make sure that there are um, there's space for proper social distancing. They don't allow any shoes in the studio. So like as soon as you come in, you have to take your shoes off. Um, you can wear socks, but they just don't want the outside germs and everything being tracked in. Like I said, we clean and sanitize between every class, so you are safe here. Um, we, may, we wear masks, um, so until you get on your mat, you need to have your mask on. You can wear it the entire time during class, or you can take it off because you're on your mat, and your mat is going to be socially distanced from people. Um, the temp does get 
up to about 85 degrees so it's kind of like hot yoga um, but that just helps relax your muscles a little more so it's easier to um, do the poses and you're a little more flexible so that's just a little bit about me and my yoga journey and where i hope to go you can always hit me up if you have questions um, or need resources or anything about yoga about meditation um, Hopefully I will be doing more of these videos and more people can participate and watch. Um, but yeah, I appreciate everyone who has been able to watch. Um, again, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments or, um, you know, hit me up here at any time. So I look forward to seeing you in a class and learning from you and teaching you and everything in between. So have a good night and go out and speak life.